not really race inspired. That's what manufacturers say when they want to try to make a connection between a race car and a street car. Ours is the actual race technology brought from the track to the street. This car is a new level of electronic integration. You don't feel like you're trying to drive to the car. You feel like the car is doing exactly what you want it to do. You can have the car you want when you want it. Today is a calibration day. We're taking thousands of channels of data, variables that are deep inside the software that allow all the electronic subsystems on the car to perform the way they need to. We have a keen understanding of what the car does really well, what the car could do better, and then it's our job to take the advancements in the auto industry, and then how do we apply those technologies to make the whole experience with the car even better. The key for the driving experience is going to be all of the new electronics in the car. Gen 3 MR, electronic power steering, electronic limited slip differential, performance traction management. The driver mode selector allows you to customize all the subsystems on the car for whatever road surface you find yourself on. All these different systems historically have been controlled independently. ABS and traction control, stability systems, electronic power steering, adjustable shock absorbers. You now have five driving modes that can personalize the car to do what you want it to do. Weather mode gives you a certain throttle response and changes your stability control and traction control. The eco mode gives you the ideal calibrations for fuel economy. The tour mode is great for driving around. Sport mode is good for a canyon road. And then track is great for a track mode where you don't want to turn off all your control systems. Everything changes. The feel of steering, the sound of the exhaust, you know, the way the transmission shifts, the ride quality, the appearance of the IP, all that stuff changes instantaneously. So it's like a different car. As soon as you spend any time in the car, you realize the differential in a car is more of a handling device than it is an attractive effort device. It's not about getting you going, it's about making the car turn the way you want it to. And that's why we introduced electronic limited slip differential. This is a differential that can control the amount of torque that's transferred from one side of the car to the other side of the car. It does many times per second, so it's always working to make the car do exactly what you want it to do. The benefit of the ELSD is the driver doesn't feel that. All the driver knows is the car feels right. We did not start out thinking we were going to create a Stingray. We decided to try to make the best car we could, and then at the very end, we'd step back and say, is this worthy of the Stingray name? We've just recently elected that, yes, in fact, it's worthy of the name. <laughs>